guys it's about 10 30 i'm not i haven't combed my hair i haven't done anything yet i slept until about 10 to 9 so i just, just had to start work i haven't just uh but i just wanted to let you know that this morning when i woke up i felt more normal for the first time since the other night so anyway pete is pete is um doing the floors with the floor the carpet scrubber i can't think what it's called he's doing that right now um carpet cleaning um and it's needed to be done i planned on it for tomorrow but you know it's a good day today too to do it i mean there's no reason why not i want to go to walmart after work it's really the first time I've wanted to go out of the house since the other night, too, so I feel like I can handle it now. I couldn't have handled it the last couple days. I still have chicken from yesterday. Since I slept through dinner last night, we didn't eat it, so it's in the fridge, so I'll cook that up. We have some salads. Um, I want to... Amy90 had that salad that looked really good, so I want to cook up the chicken and um, have it on salads today. But I just wanted to say... You know, thank you for all the prayers and everything, and I feel like today, like, I've finally turned a corner again, so. This isn't... Anyway. All right, so I'll see you guys later. Um, I got a voicemail here on my phone that I have to get back to, so I will see you guys later. Bye. Hey, guys. Zoom in. See that fire going over there? You know, this house next door, there have been people coming and going and coming and going. Families, people stay in there, kids running around, dogs. Then they leave and other people come in and we just can't even keep track of who's over there and when and who's supposed to be there and who's not. We just have no clue what's going on at that house next door. However... The last people who have been there for the last few weeks have been in a purple HH, what's it called? I don't know. They come and go and come and go, and they have a white pit bull and a little boy, I think, and whatever. But then they disappeared a couple days ago, and so today this black car pulls up. I wasn't in my, I wasn't at my post at the moment. But this black car pulls up. And tell me if I get any of this wrong, dear. This is our entertainment. This is why we have our chairs facing <laughs> that window. No, it's not really why. But <laughs> uh, uh, so they come out. They get. They go in the house. They bring out like a Mexican flag. These uh, this people in the purple car that have been there appear to be Latino of some sort. They light a fire they throw the flag in they go in they get clothes bring them out throw those in they go in the house they get curtains you said curtains or bedding or whatever was hanging over the windows they bring that out throw that in the fire look like two adult women an adult man and some kids with them oh they took the dog chain that was tied to that post that old bondo used to be on and they took you did? No, they took pictures. Oh, and they took pictures. That's right. They're taking pictures of the fire, right? So each time they threw something in, it was like they took another picture. Ah, every time they threw something in, it was another pic. They took another picture. Darn it! I was at the back of the house and I missed all this stuff. Oh my goodness! Pete's still smiling. It's just crazy. Just crazy. And then they get in the car and they leave. They leave all that junk just burning. It stinks, too. It's not like a regular fire. It smells like there's plastic and stuff burning in there. But I see the smoke has gotten black, so... 
I don't know what's going on over there. I, and those people, we don't know who they were. They just came and started. We have no clue. We've probably seen, in the time since Andy lived there, who owned the house, who was a great neighbor, who owned the house when we moved, moved here, and for the first few years we were here, I bet you we've seen, you know, people coming and going, probably 50 at least, haven't we? Yep. Hi right, guys, it's about 10, no, 5 after 6. And uh, I'm about to make dinner, which is going to be very simple. Casey and her family are coming Saturday. My sister and her husband are coming on Saturday. They will all be in my vlog, Casey and Jake and Leland and L L Lyra. And then my sister and brother-in-law, they'll all be in my vlog this weekend. And uh, one way or another, I don't think my sister and brother-in-law mind. Don't know for sure, but I doubt it. Um, because nobody knows who they are anyway. <laughs> um, so I'm looking forward to that. Gwen and her fam, or Gwen, that's my sister. Now you know who they are. Now I can't vlog them. Great. <laughs> Casey and her family are, um, spending the night going to church on Sunday, which is cool because everybody at church has wanted to see the baby and now they'll get to meet her. And I'm sure Casey has a really cute dress or outfit for her to wear too. So it'll be it'll be fun. So that's it. Um, gonna make some dinner. Gonna go to Walmart. I'm pretty well caught up on vlogs and comments. I know there were a lot of comments on my vlog um, vlogs Monday and Tuesday, and I tried to catch up with a lot of the comments, but I've been working my way backwards, and the ones from Monday really aren't relevant, so I just gave everybody a plus one or one plus or thumbs up or whatever it is, and we'll go from there because I appreciate every single comment, and it's not that you taking the time to comment on my vlog is not worthy of my time to respond, because that is absolutely not the case at all. But since Monday night, I have had gotten way behind in a whole lot of areas because I've been kind of frozen. So I um, have really a whole lot of catching up to do and getting the house ready for company. Although Pete, look at this beautiful carpet. I'll start with Pharaoh. Pete scrubbed the carpets today. So, ooh, pretty up. Oh, there's a spot of cat hair. But yeah, Pete got the carpet scrubbed, so I just love this rose-colored carpet. I have, it's always my favorite color anyway, so. Anyway, Pharaoh, are you showing them the carpet? Pharaoh, are you showing them the carpet? Curly's showing you the ottoman. Right, Curly? Sleepy is, I don't know where Sleepy is. So. There's a box of stuff for Casey. I keep adding to it. <laughs> okay, I will see you guys later. Bye. Hi, Kim. This is a daikon. Let's see. It's this is not a huge one. They become much bigger than this, but you know, it's about the length of my arm. But this is a daikon. You can use it raw. You can cook it. Um, it is a type of radish, although one of the TV chefs used to call it a turnip, but it is a type of radish. Anyway, that's what it is. Mine's been there a while, so I'll be using it probably tomorrow. I have to cut off all the roots that are growing, but it'll still be fine. This carpet looks so gorgeous. It really looks nice. Wait, I'm put a sticker on that. I just put it there to cover all the junk on the shelves. So he stuck a sticker on it, so now it has a story to tell. I gotta put my shoes away too. <laughs> he just lined them up after he washed the carpet. Feeding time at the zoo. I just took care of the birds. They're all done. Earlier today I heard something on the screen and the birds were squawking and I went out and this deck, you know how the 
out there the uh, far railing comes right up to the window and there was a squirrel that evidently knew that there was seeds and bird food in here so he wanted to come in through this not through the screen but he was at the screen wanting to come in and the birds didn't like that so I told him to go away and he went out to the far you know far he walked away a few feet to the other side of the railing sat there looking at me and so I got the bird seed the bucket of bird seed that we keep for them and Pete he, he ran the squirrel ran out under the tree and Pete went out and fed him it's not it's not enough that the birds and the dogs and the cat demand to be fed now the squirrels are coming up demanding to be fed we haven't gone to Walmart yet it's about five to eight but you guys have seen Walmart the traffic will be crazy insane if it is I'll take some video and include it tomorrow but I don't I don't want to be up half the night you know doing this vlog so doing my editing so I want to get it uploaded I also want for those of you who may be concerned I also want to get it up so that you guys know that I'm doing better today but whatever was in my head shook itself loose I still want my old brain back. <laughs> anyway, so um, I will talk to you guys uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow's just basically going to be house cleaning. Our dinner was fantastic. I fried, I cut up and fried some bacon with some chopped onion. And I had three boneless, skinless chicken breasts thawed. Um, I cut those up, just kind of fried it all together with chili powder, thyme, garlic and salt and that was how I see, that was all I used to season it and then just put it hot on top of a bed of uh, lettuce you know just the bag lettuce mix it and put it hot on top of that and then put ranch on and wow if if I would have had room in my stomach I could have eaten two or three of those salads that was about the best salad I ever ate in my life of course, I love hot things on lettuce anyway. I've always loved gravy on salad or meat and gravy on lettuce and stuff. So I really enjoy that anyway. So we're, I'm going to get this uh, edited and uploaded, and, and uh, then we'll go to Walmart. I hope everybody has a fantabulous Friday, and um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Take care. God bless. Good night.